डबल का मीट माय नेम इज शेफर पाल एंड आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मेक डबल का मीट नाउ डबल का मीठा इज ब्रेड हलवा एंड दे कॉल इट डबल का मीठा इन हैदराबाद और दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच आई लर्न्ड फ्रॉम बेगम मुमताज खान व्हेन आई वाज देयर विद हर एंड हबीब पाशा दे टॉट मी दिस एक्सपर्ट्स इन हैदराबादी कुकिंग ओके सो व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू डू इज ट्रिम ऑफ द ब्रेड एजेस नाउ दीस वंस नीड टू बी आउट trimmings you can use them for bread crumbs keep it like that you can use them for mock french fries now cut them smaller and what we need to do is fry the bread in ghee the bread has to be fried in ghee now traditionally that's what it is done if you have an option you can fry it in oil whatever so here what i'm doing is frying in ghee the flavor is best when you fry the bread in ghee fry until golden brown turn it around when you're frying do turn it around so that it gets browned evenly and as it gets brown take it out on a piece of tissue paper here now in another pan what you need to do is take about 1 tablespoon of ghee or oil whatever and add some nuts in bread ka halwa double ka meetha the most important of all is this charoli you know as we call them sunflower seeds that is the most important thing okay so this is what you need to add more of this actually two tablespoons of this is very important and then choice of nuts whatever you want to almonds cashew nuts one tablespoon of each you can add anything and another important thing is melon seeds char magaz as we call okay just to make it nice and nutty add this and saute for some time till it becomes nice and golden brown and we make the halwa end to end you can take out the nuts for garnish and keep it aside some of it on top of it but i am doing an end to end solution so first fry the nuts until nice and brown especially the melon seeds and the charoli or chironji as we say or the sunflower seeds that needs to be you know sauteed well because they have a little pungent flavor if you don't cook them well you will not enjoy them so has to be little golden brown double ka meetha now it's called double roti that's why it's called double roti double roti means leavened you know bread so bread that has been leavened and then baked in charcoal ovens as they would do in hyderabad during earlier days so now this one wow look at this gets little bit of brown little golden brown and at this point of time what i'm going to do is add sugar 5 tablespoons of sugar if you like it little more sweeter you can add more sugar and to this i'm going to add 1 and 1/2 cup of water and make a syrup of this quickly add some flavorings I've got green cardamom powder and some saffron strands go in here. Very quick dessert. That's what comes handy. If you have bread at home and any kind of nuts, you can make this in a jiffy. And sometimes when you know that you want to throw a party in a jiffy, so this is what you can do. To this also I'm going to add is once the sugar melts, I'm going to add is 1 cup of milk. There you go, 1 cup of milk. and as it comes to a boil all you need to do is take the bread and add the bread into this mixture in goes the bread and you cook until the bread absorbs the complete water syrup the milk and the sugar syrup that we have made and it becomes a nice mushy thing the bread needs to mash up okay that's what is going to happen we'll see after some time the whole mixture is going to become dry and the bread would have been swollen up and would have been mashed so that's what the halwa is all about you know interesting simple that's what they say in hyderabad they say the humble pudding goes posh so the humble pudding made of bread you know goes royal or posh or whatever you can you know name it whichever format you want to do especially if you are a restauranter and you're watching this video you can use this for your restaurants for those watching at home 
can cook for their family, friends. Beautiful. Now you see, the whole mixture, the bread is absorbed, the entire thing. And it will become mushy. It will become mushy. And what I like is, if you can try to keep the edges, some of them crisp, keep it like that. You know, it will become nice. And there, as you mix this up, this is real quick. You know, you are watching this and must be imagining, oh, this is something which I will try. So I'm going to cook this for another few seconds until it becomes completely dry, but yet it'll keep moist, you know. There you go. Now this is almost ready to serve. I've got this beautiful bowl and the halwa is now superb and simply ready. Wow, look at this, absolutely delight. So what I'm going to do is take this double ka mita, put it in a serving bowl and doesn't end here. What you need to do is put some malai on top. Now, this is the clotted cream that comes on top of the milk. Yeah, the milk on top of the milk, you have the cream surface that develops into cream. Pour a little bit of this on top and I tell you, have one bite of it. You're going to enjoy it. You're not going to stop. You're going to keep having this. But next day, don't do this. Then you are in trouble, my friend. So if you want to eat this, please go for a jog. But if you want to make it, watch the video carefully.